Wam, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waha, Waka, Kodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, meaning coming in the name, Ba means coming in, Ha means the, Sham means name, Raka meaning spirit, Kodash meaning holy. Double honors to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, and double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And Shalom to you, sincere brothers that are scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to you, sincere sisters that's listening in silence as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka, and pretty much in this lesson, um, it's going to be titled as um, The Lord Can Put an Evil Spirit on You. Okay, the Lord, He can put an evil spirit on you. Okay, the Lord kills, right? He kills, and He can send the death angel after you, judgment. Right. So, you know, I'll pretty much fix that title once I upload it. But uh, I'm going to share a video. Actually, I'm going to read an article and then I have the video to match with it to show you of this girl. She comes in the house. She walks around in the house on camera. She goes back to her room or somewhere, grabs a gun, goes into the bathroom and shoots her mother in the face three times. Yeah, on camera. So this is why we say it's a fearful thing because the Lord, he can put an evil spirit on you. He can. All right, we got we got videos, I mean scriptures, Salakia, that we can we can we can uh bring out, you know, we got scriptures that we can bring out. Salakia has my notes, notepad thing. But we got scriptures that we can bring out, okay, that um, for proof that, you know, the Lord, he's the one that's controlling and doing everything. So we're going to read this article first, and then we're going to get some precepts. And this happened yesterday, all right? This is recent. It says, and the letter, the girl's name, I think it's Carly, Carly Craig or Carly Greg, Carly Greg. Right. This is her right here. It says she killed her mom inside disturbing 911 call made by Carly Gregg's stepfather after teen shot him. So she shot her. She shot her mom and then she shot him. It says prosecutors said the teenager lied and wait in an apparent ambush designed to shoot and kill her stepfather after killing her mother. You see that? And it says, before a Mississippi teenager was found guilty of fatally shooting her mother and shooting stepfather in an attempt to kill him, uh, jurors heard a frightening 911 call made by the surviving victim. And it says, clearly, Greg was four, uh, Carly Greg was 14 at the time of the March 19 shooting in which persecutors argued she killed her 40 year old year old mother Ashley Simile with the mother's gun inside the family's Brandon miss so she she grabbed her mother's gun I didn't know that but she grabbed her mother's gun and she went in there and her mother's in the bathroom and she shot and killed her in there it says home, uh, according to the Clara Lineage, WLBT and WJTV, right? Persecutors said Greg went straight into the parents' bedroom. So she went into the parents' bedroom to retrieve a 357 Magnum pistol from beneath their mattress. It says, according to video from the courtroom shared by Court TV. Ooh, it says... Carly Craig gets life in prison after conviction for murdering mom 
then inviting friend over to see body. Wow. It says hiding the gun behind her back. Craig went to her own bedroom and confronted her mother, fatally shooting her three times. Mississippi State Prosecutor Kathy White Newman. <laughs> it says... It says, hiding the gun behind her back. It says, Greg went to her own, her, her, so like here. It says, to her own bedroom and confronted her mother. It says, fatally shooting her three times. Mississippi State Prosecutor Kath, Kath White Newman said, according to the Claren Langer, WLBT, and WJTV. It says, Newman told the courtroom that moments before the woman was killed Greg's mother was searching her searching her daughter's room for the vape pens WLBT also reported late after the teenager says later the teenager lied in wait in an apparent ambush designed to shoot and kill her stepfather 39 year old Saf Semeli when he arrived home prosecutor said Per the outlets, the investigation found that the teen was messaging her stepfather asking when he would be home after shooting her mother. Rankin County investigator Zachary Cotton said at the primary hearing in April. So, you know, there's more you can read, but I'm just going to read right there. So she pretty much killed her mom, man. OK, she went to it showed her going in. It didn't show her like what room she went into, but it showed her going into a room grabbing a gun, then going into the bathroom, and then shooting her mom three times. Okay, so she grabbed her mother's pistol and did that. Now we're going to go to the video, because this is the video right here. So, see, she went into her, her mother's room. She went into a room, though. I knew she went into a room. But she went to her mother's room to grab her pistol. And watch what she do after this. This is a fearful thing, man. This is why, again, we got to consistently pray and ask the Lord for mercy, man. Because the Lord, you know, he can put an evil spirit on you. He can put an evil spirit on you. All right, yes, the Lord can do that. We get some precepts. Now, I'm just going to get some examples out in this lesson. You know, I don't really have any many precepts to bring out, but we're going to get some examples. All right, the Lord, he can put an evil spirit on you. He can put a spirit on you. She had a spirit on her to do that. The Lord put a spirit on her to do that. An evil spirit. Right? Which is judgment. Okay? That's also judgment. This is why you want to fear the Lord. 1 Samuel 16 and 14. It says, But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. The Lord put an evil spirit on King I'm just giving the example. The Lord put an evil spirit on King Saul. Right? I mean, uh, yeah, King Saul, it says, and Saul's servant said unto him, behold, now an evil spirit from the most high trouble thee. Right. And it says, let our Lord now command thy servants, which are before thee to seek out a man who is a cunning player on an harp 
and it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from the Most High is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. Verse 17, And Saul said unto his servant, Provide me now a man that can play well, and bring him to me. Verse 18, Then answered one of the servants, and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, a Bethlehemite, that is cunning in playing, a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and the Lord is with him. And that's, he's talking about David. Okay? This is who he's talking about. David's going to play that harp, and that evil spirit is going to get lifted off of him. Right? Verse 19. Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse, and said, Send me David, thy son, which is, it says, which is with the sheep. And Jesse took an ass laden with bread, and a bottle of wine, and a kid, and sent them by David his son unto Saul. And David came to Saul and stood before him, and he and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor bearer. Verse twenty-two, and it says a it says and Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he hath found favor in my sight. Verse 23, and it came to pass when the evil spirit from the Most High was upon Saul, right? It says that David took a harp and played with his hands. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. So I'm just giving you an example. The Lord, he can put an evil spirit on people to do things. And that's judgment. The Lord executed judgment. The Lord put an evil spirit on that girl to do that. The Lord can do that. He can put an evil spirit on. He can send a death angel after you too. The Lord can do that, which we're going to get right here. Psalm 78, 49. It says he casts upon them fierceness of his anger, right? Wrath and indignation and troubled by sending evil angels among them. That's what the Lord did, right? The Lord did that. He sent evil spirit. He sends evil angels. That's a death angel. Death angels, right? Psalm 78, 50. It says he made a way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death. He spared not their soul from death. See that? But gave their life over to the pestilence. So the Lord, if he 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 can the Lord can put you to death. He can he can put you to death. The Lord can do that. That's why you want to fear the Lord. You want to fear your Hawabash Mashai because he can he can send a death angel after you. He can put an evil spirit on somebody to, to do something to you. That's why you want to fear the Lord. The Lord can do that. Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill. The Lord kills. I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. So you can't escape the judgment of the Lord. That's judgment. You cannot escape the judgment of the Lord, man. You can't. Isaiah 45 and 7. Isaiah 45 and 5. So like it says, Isaiah 45 and 5. It says, I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no uh, power with me, beside me. So like it. I gird thee, though thou hast not known me. Verse 6. It says that they may know. From the rising of the sun and from the west, that there is none, there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. We read in Samuel when the Lord put an evil spirit upon King Saul. He can put an evil spirit on you. The Lord can do that. He's he, the Lord's empowered. The Lord is in control of life, good, death, and evil. He makes peace and create evil. The Lord does that. I, the Lord, do all these things. So this is why you want to fear the Lord. This, this is why you want to fear the Lord, man. Right. So why you want to fear the Lord. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord have made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So the Lord is in control of life, good, death, and evil. He control of all of that. That's judgment of the Lord, man. The Lord put an evil spirit. Because that lady that probably got killed. She probably did something wicked in the past because the Lord does that. That's why we fear the Lord. We ask the Lord for mercy. She probably did something wicked in her past and the Lord put an evil spirit on her child to do that to her. The Lord can do that. He can put, it, he can put a spirit, an evil spirit on a particular person to do. Yes, the Lord, the Lord can do that. Deuteronomy 30 and 15, it says, see, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. The Lord. Yes, the Lord, man. Okay? The Lord. That's why you want to fear the Lord. 
Deuteronomy 30 and 19, I call heaven and earth to record against you this day. Against you. So like it. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I may set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and I see may live. So you see that the Lord is in control of life, good, death and evil. You cannot escape the judgment of the Lord, man. That's why we pray. James 4, 14, it says, whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, right? This is why we don't boast about tomorrow. I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to do that tomorrow because it's not promised. It says, for what is your life? It is even a vapor. Your life is nothing but a vapor, man. Right? And it says that appear for a little time and then vanishes away. So it, it tells you there that the Lord, man, he... He can cast, bro, the Lord can take you out of here at any time, any moment, all right? Any time, any, any fucking moment, man, all right? Any time, any fucking moment, right? Jeremiah 10 and 23, it says, The Lord, I said that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. And there you go. And there you go. It says, Oh, Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. See, so we we don't have our own free will. We can't say what we're going to do. We don't know what our lot is because the Lord already written out our lots for us. We don't know what it is. OK, we don't know. So we don't know our steps. The Lord is the one that already has it written out. We just plan our own lots out. Right. So this is why, again, you can't say what you're going to do in the next five years because it ain't promised. You know, we living day by day. We're living day by day, man. Let me get this precept up and we'll wrap it up because I got to get ready to go to this appointment from my back. This is uh, Revelation 17, 17. It says, for the Most High have put in their hearts, their minds, to fulfill his will. You see that? And it says, to and to agree and give their kingdom onto the beast until the swords of the Most High shall be fulfilled. So there you go, man. All right. Everything is of the will of the Lord. Everything is of the will of the Lord, man. All right. We have no control over what we do. Everything is of the will of the Lord. Right. It says for the most high have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom onto the beast until the words of the most high shall be fulfilled. And there you go. The Lord put it in their minds to do his will. And that girl. The Lord put a spirit on her to do that. The Lord put an evil spirit on her to do that, man. We don't have no control over what goes on, man. All right? This is why we want to fear the Lord. We ask the Lord for mercy. We repent daily. We do these things. Because you don't have, you, you don't, you know, you don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow. Okay? You don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow. Everything is of the Lord's will. That's why we say Lord willing. It's not promised, man. You don't have control over your destiny. All right. So this is a this is a terrifying thing. You know. So hey, I'm gonna wrap it up with that. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Mahabu Kakodash. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom to you, sincere brothers that are scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to you, sincere sisters that's listening to science and scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach Razaka from this. I'm your brother Mashiach Razaka, and Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. On to the next one. Shalom.